Hey you, welcome to the podcast. I don't think this is going to be very long. God just put something on my heart that I want to share with you. You as a believer, and I've said this to you multiple times, especially if you're in the Seekers Method, it's something you hear all the time. You might find yourself struggling and trusting the struggle of life right now and therefore seeing the negative consequences, the negative effects of it on your weight loss journey. Because... You are allowing yourself, you are allowing, how do I want to say it? You are allowing thoughts to take up residence, take up free space, rental space in your mind. And you're paying the price. Because whatever you perpetually think you believe, and however you are believing, you will behave. Now the difference between you and I, And I want you to hear this. Don't hear what I'm not saying because what I'm saying could unlock the door to your weight loss miracle. It's all a matter of your belief. Your inability to believe truth is because of your ability to believe a lie. The difference between you and me is belief. And so when I have a belief, I believe without doubting. I scrub out the areas of darkness that keep me doubting, trusting circumstances, trusting situations, trusting old things that aren't even true. And when I have a belief, I behave according to it. And all I did to lose my weight was I quit doubting. And I quit living in disbelief. I quit allowing room for unbelief. I stopped believing the difficulties. I stopped believing that because it's not here yet means it won't be here yet. No, you will reap a harvest if you will stop giving up. Stop believing the difficulties. Start trusting what God says and overriding the difficulties. Give the difficulties an opportunity for God to make you stronger. He will make you stronger if you believe he will. Or those weaknesses will make you weaker if you believe you they will. So commit to the right thing. Commit to believing what is true. Commit to being made stronger. Commit to coming under spiritual authority so that you can have what you need to behave correctly so that you can be in physical authority over your life. You will not be transformed if you perpetually believe and then behave according to what you're believing. So when you find yourself not doing what you know you should do, ask yourself, What am I believing right now? Is it even true? Have I gone to God? What is my motivation right now to behave in alignment with my old crucified self? What could be different if I just decided to believe what is possible through Christ who is strengthening me to do what I need to do, not what I want, even in weight loss?